Tottenham could be forgiven for being sick of the sight of Manchester City. Not only are they meeting in a third competition this season, this is the third time they've met in the space of six weeks. But Spurs have got closer to City as the season has progressed. Who says Tottenham can't turn the tables in the FA Cup? Robert Villaham makes two changes from the North London derby defeat by Arsenal last Sunday. Olga Artonen replaces Kit Graham in central midfield. And in a last-minute change to his original starting 11, Molly Bartra and then replaced by Luana Bula. Laura Coombs and Chloe Kelly, who's featured in every game so far this season, drop to the bench to be replaced by Philippa Angeldahl and Mary Fowler. I think we're on the, like a good patch now, the road where we're fitter, we're smarter, we're making better decisions. And I just feel, yeah, like I said, I have a good feeling. It's going to be a good game. And now we've just been practicing on the field, like it's been good, the training has been good, and I just have a really good feeling. Everything to win, stay together. If you win with 5 0, if you start losing it, whatever, stay together until the game ends and then we see what the result is. Because we do everything together this year, okay? You are the standard that you walk past, and by that, it's if you see someone struggling today, you don't leave them, you help them. If someone's not doing their set pieces or their roles properly, you don't accept that, you tell them we cannot afford to let our standards be mediocre today, whether that's 90 minutes, 120 minutes to the penalties. So we make sure that we give everything today and make sure that our standards are accountable. Let's go, girls. Come on, Done it again. Spurs on three! One, two, three! Yes! Yes! So it's Manchester City who get this game underway with a place in the semi-finals of the Women's FA Cup at stake. At the moment, Spurs struggling to get out of their own half. Fowler, Shaw, back to Fowler again. That takes a deflection, a wicked deflection to give City the early advantage. to respond straight away, Jessica Naz, back to Naz again. She had to improvise under pressure from Greenwood. That's a nice touch from Bizet, releases Summonen. Thomas goes down the line, there are plenty of white shirts coming forward, Neville. Summoning. Naz has made a run and it's all the way through for Jessica Naz. Out comes Keating, who read it early. Naz was onside. Tottenham have grown a bit more into this match. They've certainly been more decisive in the tackle. A first half which didn't get off to the best of starts for Tottenham. City enjoying a lot of the possession, but Tottenham growing into the game. 
and certainly getting a foothold by half time. Tottenham have never gone beyond this stage of the competition. There's always a first time. is going to win the free kick. And it comes from Evelina Summonen, teasing for City. He can't clear. Clinton trying to hook it back into the danger area. We approach the hour mark. Clinton, good turn away from Kaspari. In it goes. Oh, and Celine Bizet was improvising to try and get a touch on the ball. Rosella Ryan up against Greenwood. Wins a corner straight away. Back to Fowler. Looking for Shaw. Got a touch on it. Martha Thomas is away down this near side. Bizet and Summon and steaming into the middle. Cut out by Alexandri. Good work by Thomas. Relentless effort. an early ball in, his Bizet, oh, it just wouldn't fall for her. Summoning, trying to get it through the gap. She finds Celine Bizet, England and Clinton in the middle. Bizet checks, crosses, Clinton brings it down, lays it off. The shot comes in, is England! Oh! What an opening for Tottenham. Spencer under pressure from Park. Flicked on. James Turner then hooks it straight into the middle. Oh, the misunderstanding! Beth England is in to equalise! And Tottenham have drawn level at the death in the FA Cup quarter-final. The dream is still alive, and it's the captain who's got the goal. The final whistle goes, and Beth England Urges the crowd to lend their support for another half an hour of football. We go, we go. In position, keep pressing them in behind. They're so scared. Every time you take a deal, you take those runs. Be very sharp. Now we don't need to speed the game up. Make sure you find the right place. Okay? Everything, everything in it. Everything in it. Let's get our hands in the middle. Come on. Come on. Give it everything we've got now. Everything. Come on, go. 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 Just to stay this far. We can go all the way. We've got Come to on. believe it and do it. Spurs on three, one, two, three! Yeah. Oh. Good ball down the line by Graham. Vinberg. England in the middle, so is Ian. Matilda Vinberg gets beyond one city defender. Fresh legs on Rosella Ian galloping forward, finding another substitute. Wang. Good turn by a third substitute, Vinberg, but couldn't get the shot on target. Morgan for Kelly. Kelly goes for the far corner, and Spencer shuffled across to make the save. Nil then comes forward. This time the cross is shorter, and England had Vinberg right behind her.
Ayan. In it goes. Nil den. Options in the middle. England is one of them. Extra time is over. We are heading for a penalty shootout. Present, make sure you didn't know what to do, right? Put up the ball, you hit it there, but you said so many penalties yesterday. Come back. Do it today. Yeah. So after more than 120 minutes of football, it all comes down to this. A place in the semi-finals of the Women's FA Cup at stake. And Spencer saves. What a start to the shootout for Tottenham. Greenwood shakes her head. Spencer guessed right. Kept Tottenham in the tie. Can she give them the advantage in the shootout? England against 19-year-old Kiara Keating, who's doing her best to put the Tottenham captain off. Comfortably into the corner, sending Keating the wrong way. Next up for City, Chloe Kelly. Can she do it again? She can! Oh, yes, she can! Becky Spencer saves the game! And Tottenham have a huge advantage now. Vastly experienced. Gets her positioning. Keating saved the last one from Ian. This would put Spurs in a strong position. Oh, right in the top corner. She couldn't have put it any closer. Even though Kiara Keating guessed right, Wang puts the penalty away. James Turner to win the quarter-final for Tottenham. And she does it! Sends Keating the wrong way and Spurs for the first time in their history are heading to the FA Cup semi-finals. What a remarkable performance!